care so much about me? Why do you care so much about me? Beloved, it is very, very important for you and I to understand that even in our secular world, people are fascinated by others who truly care for others or people who truly care for others. That is one reason why for 2,000 years the world has been fascinated by Jesus Christ. Jesus told the story of the Good Samaritan who saw a wounded man lying in a ditch along with the dangerous road between Jerusalem and Jericho. A priest and a Levite had both passed the man without helping. But a Samaritan, we don't even know his name, lifted the man from the ditch, tended his wounds, and set him on his animal, and took him to an inn to recover, paying for his expenses, as Luke chapter 10, 25 to 37 teaches us. When we read this story, we need to remember the radical callousness of the Greco-Roman world. In those days, there was little concept of charity. Plato taught that a poor man who was no longer able to work because of sickness should be left to die. Another philosopher said giving supplies to the poor was simply prolonging the beggar's misery. Roman fun was watching people be torn to pieces by wild animals in coliseums. Roads were lined with crosses on which naked victims were slowing dying, helpless against beds of prey, trying to devour their flesh. What Jesus taught was radically new in his time, but this message took hold and changed the Western world. A writer wrote in his book, The Surprising Rebirth of Belief in God. Christianity was the pivot point that turned civilization in a radically new direction from a culture in which many lives were regarded as cheap and expendable towards the valuing of every human life. Jesus and his followers changed the mindset of their time and the early church transformed the culture of the Roman Empire. Christians began the first hospital, championed the cause of widows and orphans and cared for those who were dying of plagues. While others ran away from pandemics, Christians ran towards them, caring for the sick and dying. In the West today, even as Christianity is being attacked, whatever compassion exercised by the world is generally because of the influence of the followers of Christ in shaping Western history. And the Christians are still at the forefront of humanitarian care all over the world. Why do you find I fit in? Probably you and I can answer that by asking three questions. Who is my savior? First, who is my savior and what is he like? Twice in the gospel, people accuse Jesus of not caring for them. When the disciples were caught in the storm while the Savior slept, they awoke him saying, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Mark 4, 38. And when Martha was overwhelmed with feeding everyone at her house, she snapped at Jesus saying, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Luke 10 40. But Jesus did care and he still does. We are told we can cast all our cares on him for he cares for us. 1 Peter 5 7. He cared for the sick and infirm. Sometimes he was moved the compassion.
compassion for the multitudes and other times he was moved by the needs of individuals today he still cares for the world through us by his indwelling spirit he's continuing his caring ministry through our churches he said if i then your lord and teacher have washed your feet you also ought to wash one another's feet john 13 14. then the second question has to do who is my neighbor jesus also told us he told us to love our neighbor as ourselves matthew 22 39. it was this truth that prompted someone to praise jesus on the issue demanding the defined demanding he define the word neighbor in response, Jesus told the aforementioned story of the Good Samaritan, indicating that one's neighbor is the person who most needs our help at any time. The Good Samaritan didn't personally know the wounded Jew. They didn't live side by side, nor had they previously met. The cultural convictions of the time will have defined them as enemies but the injured man needed aid and the samaritan passed by the spot where he lay the good samaritan became the good neighbor the neighbor that we are to love as ourselves and then is the person who most needs our help at any given time what a fascinating concept look around you who is it then the third question is, what is my care calling? This brings us to point of personal application. Just whom does Jesus want to help through you and me? Surely, we all have a care calling. I realize some of those um, people that I've met some time ago challenged me in this area. And they let me know that people are in need of care of others yet there's always someone for whom you can care and pray and do whatever you can others of us are healed and hearty we just need to awaken to the needs around us there's a group of volunteers called the yellow shirt army they came together from churches to receive training to help Tornadoes, hurricane. They wear bright yellow poles, and after every major disaster, you see them moving trees of houses, clearing debris of driveways, hauling mud out of home interiors, and providing food for victims. Beloved, and so when the president of the United States once visited a disaster site, he asked, "Who are all these people in yellow shirts?" They were the hands and feet of Jesus. Daniel Broca was only 30 years old when his wife died after a prolonged struggle with cancer, leaving him with two young children. People gathered around him, bringing food, sending gift cards, and helping with the kid. But Daniel didn't have another widow to guide him through the pain. As time went on, I went by. Daniel realized there are many groups caring for widows but very few for widowers. He launched a first of its kind retreat ministry that organizes faith-based ministries and retreat for widowers. We have found over the years that guys tend to seek shelter from storms of grief by running to things that they were never meant to be their refuge. Daniel explains, Scripture makes it clear that our refuge is found in God. Again, a group of high school students in Fort Myers, Florida, were laughing one day about how their grandparents were struggling with technology. Their laughing, however, mopped into a conversation about how challenged older people can be with their computers, phones, and such. They sent a letter to a nearby senior a living center offering their services jesus wants us to use the talent he has given us said one of the season jesus was always helping others 
and they want us to make a difference. These students started a ministry called CLEO, Computer Literacy Educational Treat. Now, there are multiple CLEO chapters spread throughout several states. When you care about those with any need at all, demonstrate it in action. You fascinate others because you'll be demonstrating a love greater than most. The needs are endless, so we can be creative and ask God to show us exactly how and when and where we can find a care calling for ourselves. Someone needs you in your family, neighborhood, school, place of employment, or world. When you care, others will see Jesus in your actions. And they will be fascinated, asking, why do you care so much about me? And we can say, it's because of Jesus. We can't just cross our arms and do nothing. Can we? God bless you for listening. Have a wonderful day.